I'd like to welcome you to another video on the way of things. This is going to be a little trip down memory lane with the uh, Wilhelm brothers who used to live here at Fort Katy. And we're going to take a trip uh, with a vehicle they called Leapy Lena. And it would be worthwhile to look at this uh, car that they have custom built back in uh, probably the late 30s. It already had some of the uh, hallmarks of what we would consider an SUV or an off-highway vehicle. It um, had high clearance, large wheels, a roll bar, and um, a remote shutoff. <laughs> and it's uh, just a really interesting look into the way things were done in the desert. Uh, of course, there was a lot of cross-country travel that we don't do as much today. And uh, another thing I would like you to appreciate is while this film is a little bit rough, uh, it's basically rescued. Um, and um, so it's not as perfectly preserved, but I still think you'll find it entertaining and uh, with a lot of information on the way things used to be out in the Mojave Desert. And with that, let us uh, go to the film. Everybody, this is Ted Husing. When work interferes with play, Ken and Walt Willem of Yermo, California, give up work. Living in desert country, these brothers constructed a very queer and unique jalopy, which takes them to inaccessible places in search of new sporting thrills. Meet Ken, the younger brother. They load skis, sleds, and toboggans for a snowless holiday in Death Valley, California. The older, hi, a big boy. Flash completes the foursome, and when he can stick on, he rides up in the bow of the desert ship. Now, Lena, the desert leaper, is not a road hog, but a unique buggy that, given free reign, will travel across country. Death Valley National Monument is 150 miles by good road from Yermo or Bosco, but as the crow flies, it's half the distance. So follow the crow, says Lena. The Wilhelms have spent most of their lives in the Mojave Desert, and know all the trails. But when a railroad track shows up, they stop, look, and listen. That's right, boys. Give the super chief the right of way. <laughs> it's too rough for Flash, but what marvelous knee action. Just ask the man who owns one, because when better desert cars are built, the Wilhelms will build them. Yes, sir, I think they have solved the Sunday driving problem. Flash is still out of his observation seat and trailing behind. Riding is swell, but this roller coaster, rocky, humpty dumpty, is too much for his canine sensitivities. As long as the wheels stay on, old Ironside stops at nothing. Say, if you fellas aren't careful, you're going to dent a fender or get your paint job all scratched up. Whoops, the daisy. Approaching the dry salt beds at the south end of fascinating Death Valley, 276 feet below sea level, the lowest place in the United States. Ready to explore the dry lake, they pad Flash's paws to avoid foot soreness. This vast lake is all below sea level, and because of the porousness of the salt, it is very dangerous to walk on without some extra support. A car would sink, as in quicksand, and a human might easily lose his life by submersion. This entire area has no outlet, and the salt deposits are caused by occasional rainfall, then evaporation. Below the white surface, salt to varying depths is dark, murky brine. The 
hot in these United States is also the hottest in summer. Other seasons are delightfully cooled by breezes from the high Panamint mountain range that surrounds the valley. The gang travels through rough mountainous lava deposits with Lena making the grade in search of sporting thrills. In the northern part of Death Valley, shifting sands of centuries have formed acres of high rolling sand dunes. Come on, Sun Valley, Lake Placid and Dartmouth. Look out for your winter honors. Here is skiing on sand below sea level any day of the year. Sounds ski razy, but it's a fact. You're a funny looking skier, Ken, but anybody who can ride with Lena ought to be able to ride the skis. And a boy, Walt. Now, no damage, just sand in your hair. Another new thrill on the old sand lot is tobogganing. The boys really do almost anything as well as they would on snow. Anything goes and so does Ken. <laughs> flash like a flash is in for the fun. Go on, chew him up, boy, chew him up. These picturesque dunes occupy quite a large area and there are varied ways of speedy transportation without calling on a camel. Hey, I think you've got something there that is quite unique in the realm of sports. Aquaplaning over the dunes. desert acrobat. On a flat level spot, they hitch on sleds while the driverless car goes around the big circle. The steering wheel is turned at a right angle and locked. Say, this could go on until the gas gave out. It's a swell gag to have where there is no annoying traffic. Why the bow and arrow, you say? Well, just a minute. It serves a very definite purpose. Boulder can hit the bullseye. And the jitterbug stops dead in her tracks. When hit, the target presses against an auxiliary ignition switch and shuts off the spark. Simple, isn't it? Advancing the gas for more speed ahead, and all are overboard for more nerve-tingling sagebrush bobsledding. Ride em, Walt. Hop on, Ken. Say that speedboat of the Badlands sure hauls you over the sand. With them, Flash. Those boys are really going to town. Yippee! Ride them, cowboy. Look at those fools go. Old Leaping Lena has taken the bit. A spill, a thrill, but hey, how about Lena? Shoot, Ken, shoot! Top luck. He broke his bowstring. Hurry, it's getting away from you. Say, have you insurance on that priceless vintage of the Stone Age? Because I'd kiss it goodbye right now. It looks like Lena was on the loose. Oh, my. Don't look now, but I think she's tired of living and decides to end it all. Wham. Wowee. A doctor in the house, I, I mean a mechanic. Sorry, boys, but here's where the body lies. Oh, I know how you feel when such a good pal goes. She was a grand old gal. It looks like that was Lena's last leap. So gather up the debris, boys. Where there's life, there's hope, even in Death Valley. Give her air, Gus. Feel her pulse. 
Perhaps a strict diet will mend her. Well, I'll be hog-tied to a cactus. That's the best performing used car I ever saw. And as we say farewell to Death Valley folks, Remember, it is one of our newest national playgrounds and fascinating to visit. But stick to the good highways unless you want to borrow dear old Lena. So long, boys. Happy landing.